Okay, this is lesson 105, powers with negative bases. All right, this is one of those lessons that's pretty easy, pretty easy to understand. It's just about being careful and being detailed. We've talked about that before, right? God's detailed and we want to be like God in everything. So even when we're doing our math lessons, we want to be detailed, okay? Just because that's how God is and we want to be like him. Also, if you're not detailed and you're not keeping track of things, you're going to get the wrong answer. So that should be motivation too. All right, so if you look at 105.1, all right, there's a bit before that in your book, and it's just illustrating what I'm going to illustrate right here. Okay, it says evaluate, and then in parentheses, negative 3 squared. Okay, then it has B, and there's no parentheses. All right, so we've talked about this before. When there's parentheses, you kind of think of your minus sign as protected. And when there's no parentheses, it's not protected. Okay, so right here, um, you have the negative 3 inside the parentheses. So what that means is you are doing negative 3 times negative 3. Okay, negative 3 times negative 3. A negative times a negative is a positive. And 3 times 3 is 9. So your answer here is positive 9. All right, now B, um, the way the book says it is when you don't have the parentheses and your negative is kind of loose, there's no parentheses around it, the book says you should cover the minus sign up with your finger and then work out the whatever you're squaring or cubing or whatever and then uncover it at the end and put it at the, at the answer, put it in front of the answer. Okay, so if we were going to do it the book's way, then you would do 3 squared, which would be 9, and then, oh yeah, there's that negative sign, so we need to put that there for our answer. Okay, and that's a good way to do it, and if you do it that way, that's fine. I like to think of it more as it's not protected, so I need to bring it down and I just leave it there until I get my answer. Now this one's super easy. Three squared, that's nine. So your answer is negative nine. Okay, so either way you do it is okay, just as long as you are following one of the two rules to getting the right answer. All right, so with that in mind, let's do some evaluations. Um, example 105.2, all right, says evaluate a squared, negative a squared, if a equals negative 2. Okay, now the first thing you should do is rewrite the problem actually putting the number there, and you should put it in parentheses. So what I mean here is a squared. If a is negative 2, then we have negative 2 squared. All right, now I wrote it with parentheses, and you should do that too. All right, so again, the negatives inside the parentheses. So we've got negative 2 times negative 2, so that's going to be 4. All right, now if you come over here, you have this negative here. So I'm going to write that, and then you have a squared, and a is negative 2. So for my a, again, I'm writing negative 2 in parentheses. All right, so right here you have negative, negative 2 squared. So this negative is not protected, so I'm going to bring it down. Okay, now negative 2 squared, we already established that's 4. Okay, but our answer here is a negative 4, because we had that negative that wasn't in the parentheses. We brought that down, so that makes our answer a negative 4. Okay, so again, you just need to keep track of what you're doing. All right, 105.3. Simplify a squared minus ab squared minus b squared if a is negative 2 and b is negative 3. Okay, so again, just make sure you're writing these out first and writing them out in a detailed manner. Okay, so for a squared, I'm going to write my negative 2 in parentheses for my a minus negative 2 times b is negative 3 squared minus, bring that minus down, and then b is negative 3 squared. All right, so all I've done is put the numbers in. Now, but if you do that step wrong, you're going to get the whole problem wrong. So it's really important that you're detailed when you rewrite the problem putting your numbers in place of your variables. Okay, if you mess up that step, you're a goner. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. A negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. Bring down that minus sign that's not protected. Okay, here we have negative 2, and I'm bringing that down because we have 3, well, negative 3 squared here. Okay, the squared is just referring to the negative 3. Don't do negative 2 times negative 3 and then square that, okay? Negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's 9. Positive 9, okay? Bring down this minus because it's not protected. Negative 3 times negative 3, that's 9. Okay? 
So I'm just going to bring 4 and my negative down. Okay, negative 2 times 9, that's a negative 18. And I'm putting that in parentheses just to separate it from this negative that we brought down here. And then minus 9. Okay, now here's where you do the fishbowl rule. All right, now don't do the fishbowl rule up here. Some people want to go, oh, fishbowl, ching, ching, ching. Okay, but if you do it up here, um, it's not going to be correct. You want to get it down to like this, where there's only one number inside the parentheses. Okay, so our little minus hops in here, makes this plus, gets rid of our parentheses. So we have 4 plus 18 minus 9. Okay, 4 plus 18, that's going to be 22. And then minus 9, that's going to be 13. And that's your answer. Okay, so again, not too hard. I mean, this is easy stuff, 2 times 9 and whatnot. Just keeping track of all those negatives. All right, now do these on your own, okay? Go ahead and pause the video. Do the two practice problems. And then press play, and I'll give the answers right away. And then um, you can check your work. And then if you aren't understanding it, then I'll work them out and you can see that. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and work out the practice problems. Okay, so I'm assuming that you've worked them out and you've pressed play. So here are the answers. Okay, for A, the answer is going to be negative 9. For B, the answer is 21. Okay, so if you got those, go ahead and start your lessons. Good job. If you didn't, maybe try it again. See if you can get those answers. And if you just can't get the answer, then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so for A, A is negative 2, B is negative 3. So again, write these with your parentheses. You've got negative 2 squared times negative 3 minus, and then B is negative 3. All right, negative 2 squared. Negative 2 times negative 2, that's 4. 4 times negative 3 and then minus negative 3. Okay, 4 times negative 3, that's negative 12. And here we have a fishbowl. Pop that in there, cross this out. That makes it positive. So 12 plus 3, that's negative 9. Okay, now if you're still having a hard time understanding that part, how negative 12 plus positive 3 is negative 9, you can always just make yourself a quick timeline, or timeline, quick number line, okay? Okay, so let's just say we've got 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Okay, now if you're at negative 12, here's where you are. You add a positive 3. Okay, the positives are going this way, right? You've got the positives over here, positive 1, positive 2. So if you're at negative 12 and I add positive 3, 1, 2, 3, I'm going to end up at negative 9. Okay, so negative 12 plus positive 3, that's negative 9. All right, and then B. Okay, let's do this one. You've got negative 3 squared minus negative 2 squared times negative 3. Okay, negative 3 times negative 3, that's going to be positive 9. Bring down your minus, it's not in parentheses. Okay, negative 2 squared, that's going to be 4. And that's still times negative 3. Okay, so 9, bring that down. And then 4 times 3, that's negative 12. Okay, do your fishbowl. That goes in there, makes it positive. Crosses out your parentheses. 9 plus 12, and that's going to be 21. Okay, now I did that kind of quickly. So if you're like, ah, I didn't get it, then just go back and watch the video slowly and pause and understand as you need to. Okay, that's lesson 105.